Hey creative people, what's up? Today I want to show you how I'm gonna pack my art supplies to go on a couple of ways a trip to Italy. I'm gonna spend also one week in Sicily for the first time, so I'm looking forward to sketch uh, and meet some uh, friends I made online on the Instagram, some other artists. Let's see, because this time I want to try uh, another type of uh, setup for my packing. I have chosen these watercolors and these sketchbooks to bring me with me. This is a SMLT Art Bristol Sketch Album, 185 GSM, so lightweight, and I'm using it mainly for a deep pen and a brush pen, so uh, it's very good for sketching live uh, people on the train, on the bus, or at a cafe or uh, some uh, uh, quick urban sketching I'm uh, starting to try. I'm not very familiar with, but I want to experiment. Also can hold uh, a very light wash of watercolor as well. And this uh, is uh, quite big for my standard sketchbook, but it's a lightweight. I'm gonna travel also by flight to Sicily, so I want to be sure that my uh, art supplies are not that heavy. This one is a uh, cotton paper, so I wanted to have some cotton paper option as well. And uh, I haven't used uh, in a long time Magnani paper from Renaissance Posca. So maybe that's a good option if I am uh, like on the seaside and I want to paint a little bit also. And it's, as I said, lightweight because it has no uh, back cover. And uh, uh, has a watercolor. I'm gonna bring my standard lightweight palette with some uh, spray in it and a uh, travel brush that normally I'm not using. In terms of uh, watercolors, I have mainly here White Nights because they reactivate pretty well. Uh, and a few Renaissance Polska, but they are not reactivating uh, that easily, so I prefer to use them uh, straight from out of the tube. Uh, here, some white gouache as well can be uh, useful. And I got this uh, palette from uh, uh, Roman Schmal, I have never used before, in Fabriano in Acquerello in Bologna a few weeks ago. Uh, it's uh, five pants palette, also very lightweight because this is uh, paper, so it's a good option if I want to bring it with me. I have these five colors here, uh, it's uh, Aquarius Red, and some yellow light, Autumn Green, French Ultramarine and Aquarius Violet, so it's quite a good minimal palette, I think. But let's go to the main actor of this uh, travel set up. This brush case I uh, review and I'm gonna use for the first time uh, uh, actually in this travel I review in a previous video is from Medin. They sent me together with some uh, other awesome art supplies. So definitely uh, check out that video if you want to see their palette, their gouache, their brush pens as well. And here I uh, set all my stuff, uh, starting from above. Uh, I want to use a sponge for the first time. I never used. I had this uh, boat like one year ago, never used. But I think it can be a good option as an alternative to paper tissue, particularly when you are traveling. And here is my very limited standard package for the kneaded eraser and sharpener. And sometimes I remove the sharpener and I put inside just a couple of godet, uh, so pens, watercolor. If I want to be very uh, lightweight in my uh, walking, normally I uh, walk a lot when I'm traveling with my backpack. That's why. Uh, a couple of clamps, always useful. And then uh, going from uh, left to right, uh, we can have a look to all these uh, pens and brush pens and pencils about uh, this brush case. Nice that you can tilt it like this. So 
you can tilt and here there is a part that you can remove and place uh, I never remember how here you can place it so this way and you have all your items ready to, to be chosen so it's quite uh, convenient I like that on the other side I uh, think these holes here are slightly too tight because sometimes like this brush uh, I cannot fit it in uh, also they are made in brush pen here I cannot fit them in uh, they are simply too large so a slightly larger one would have been good oh, there is also a central one I'm just seeing now that's also nice this also I couldn't fit in is a new uh, purchase I made in uh, Ljubljana I was there for a workshop and is a Dervent quite pricey spray but it's uh, um, supposed to be a very even a nice spray so I'm gonna use that as well and then uh, here we have my trustable fairy wheel press pen I love this I put them inside uh, some waterproof ink I think it's the Winsor & Newton ink black so I can then uh, use watercolor on top and here I have a couple of brushes my beloved Renaissance Polska um, Squirrel imitation brush and this one I received from Artify a couple of weeks ago I think Petit Gris a French quill uh, brush is very nice for um, large brush strokes here I put this uh, brush pen that is uh, not that easy to fit in is uh, with ink from Bosnia so a local art shop for some ink washes if I want on the Bristol sketchbook this is also new purchase is a graphic pen from uh, Sakura what is particular here is that the tip is squared so it's in one direction thinner than in the other so by tilting it you can achieve uh, multiple marks at the same time it's a bit of an imitation of a stylographic or uh, just similar to the parallel pen by Stabilo that uh, I wanted to buy so you get some effect like this this is also something I really loved is from Pentel brush sign pen artist and has a very thin tip so you can get uh, just a, a tremendous amount of variable brush strokes I use in the other page here. Then my standard, it's not H, it's B actually, the lead inside you can set by rotating. It's a Graphic Gear 500 Pentel, so amazing always using it as well as a standard uh, HB pencil for very light uh, uh, sketching in the beginning for my watercolor pieces this uh, Faber-Castell Polychromos black if I want to enhance a bit the line art in the end and this I'm not using that much Conte a Paris is a white pastel pencil for highlights as an alternative to the white jelly uh, pen from Sakura and then uh, these are from Medin as well brush pen quite big nice reservoir push button and they come as well with a, a round brush tip and flat brush tip they always release a bit of water so be aware of that I hope you enjoyed this video and Subscribe the channel if you haven't done. I wish you nice holidays if you're having holidays or a nice beginning of summer uh, if you are spending them at home. And I see you in the next video. Bye. Thanks for watching.